battleground for Republicans. As the first caucus state, it is a very big deal for Democrats. And one of the state's best known Democrats is now running for Congress. Christy Vilsack is Iowa's former first lady and now joins us. You're running against Steve King, I am. the Republican incumbent. And I mean, we don't have a contest as far as we know in terms of the incumbent president, Barack Obama. But Democrats are also being vilified as well as Republicans, both parties and all the polls. How do you run for Congress at a time when people are just fed up with Washington? This debt ceiling debate this August has just really drag the whole institution of Congress down? Well, I think that people in Washington might take a lesson from the people in the small towns in the new 4th District of Iowa, because when you live in a small town, as I have my entire life, you have to get along. You teach people's children, you sit next to them in church, um, you come together in the same room. And in my hometown, there are two U.S. highways that intersect, and people come to those uh, that intersection, and there's no stoplight, and you have to stop and look people in the eye. And so, uh, I think that, you know, we need to uh, lower our voices and raise our sights. And I want to run as a problem solver, as someone who knows how to get into a room and collaborate. And I think that's how you run. And people are, they, they may be fed up with Washington. They want people to get into a room and get things done. And we understand that in Iowa because we're common sense people. And they expect when they elect someone to the Congress that they will walk into a room and negotiate with people and compromise. That's what I want to do. How, how jobs? It's the biggest question, and the president, frankly, no one seems to have any real answer as to what to do in this economy short term. People talk about infrastructure, which is a horrible word, and investment in the future. But in the near term, people need to be employed. They do, and that's what people are talking about. I've traveled in 39 counties, certainly on a listening tour, but I also have most recently been attending fairs and festivals that, that communities have in Iowa during the summer, uh, just talking to people randomly. And I have no idea what party they, uh, they vote for, but they are talking about jobs and they're certainly talking about the safety net of Social Security and Medicare and those things are worrisome especially to our seniors um, but they're also talking about jobs and so there are certainly things that we can do um, we can make sure that uh, that the workforce is um, taken care of and have a little extra money in their pockets uh, so they're not having to pay their payroll tax. Uh, we can extend unemployment insurance. But I'm really interested in the idea of apprenticeships. And I'm going to be talking in the next few weeks about how uh, we might introduce more apprenticeships to stimulate the economy. And uh, we have a wonderful resource in Iowa through our community colleges. And we need to take advantage of that because many of the young people who graduate from our community colleges actually stay here, go back to their hometown towns and work. And we also have a lot of opportunity that we've created in the biofuels industry and the wind industry. And we need to make those jobs available not only to the young people now in our colleges and universities, but also to our veterans who are coming home. Because uh, rural America sends more young people to serve in Afghanistan and Iraq, and they're going to be coming back. And we owe them something. We owe them an opportunity. We owe them everything. We do. Well, Christy Vilsack, it's great to see you again. Former First Lady, which is your role when I first met you. Yes. Married, of course, to the former Governor Tom Vilsack, who is now our Ag Agriculture Secretary, who's going to be out on the bus tour yes. next week with President Obama. Thank right. you very much. Thank you great very to much. See you.